Hello YouTube, Patrick with Homebred Aquatics. So today we're in Jacksonville, Florida at one of the largest aquatic retail stores in North America, Floating Sea Aquatics. So fortunately I got to talk to the owner for about two or so hours last week and really get to know the store, get to know the ins and outs and see this impressive thing come all together. There's a lot to unpack in here and I want to show you guys why maybe you should check out this when you're in Florida next time. All right, let's check it out. All right, so welcome into Floating Seas. Um, now, Floating Seas here, they have so many different display tanks. Um, but first off, I have to show you some of the most interesting stuff, that being their ponds. Both freshwater and saltwater ponds they have are n nearly 4,000 gallons apiece. These house all their rescue fish, and they really are passionate about having not only a retail store, but more importantly a rescue, where those fish that maybe not a person that should have had fish, can bring them and they can live out their entire lives. So let's check them out real quick. All right, so we start on a full walkway that goes up and splits the two ponds. To our left, we have our freshwater pond. This thing's absolutely beautiful with an end waterfall and has various fish in here that they've rescued like pakus, full-blown giant oscars, I see some kois in here, pocosimuses because people don't know quite how big they actually get. But we'll take kind of a walk around of just the freshwater side. And as I said, this beautiful waterfall which is goes through a giant filtration system, pumped through these sides right here from the back. But just check it out. I mean it's it's not every day that you see it in a fish store a massive pond like this housing just giant fish. This is something I expect from an aquarium. All right, let's go check out the saltwater side. Now the same thing as we look into the saltwater side, something cool here, some XR30s hung up all the way across their pond. Now they don't have any coral necessarily in here outside of with this big lionfish. But this is again houses a lot of the what the owner said fish that wholesalers can't sell that are too big to sell or that they, people have just had outgrown their tanks you have some sturgeon damsels which are just little buttheads and i'm sure i understand why people don't want those a nice beautiful puffer fish i saw a couple in here the other day in very similar aspect as you have the waterfall at the end and various intake sections are across the pond that pull water in and then filter it back out. But I've honestly never seen a saltwater pond. Uh, let me know if you have outside of the aquarium, but I think this is pretty cool in a retail store. So we're in the lounge slash educational area. Now this area is made as what Ozzy, the owner says, to be an educational area where he brings in classes from schools, colleges, various things to learn more about the aquatics hobby in general. Learn how to care for fish. Learn what it takes to have them and grow with them and be successful with fish. He's not really, I mean, at least he put to me, he's not so much for retail as it is a part of his company, but more on the educational rescue side where people can grow their knowledge and understanding of the fish hobby in general. I find it really nice in this little lounge area too that he showcases some of the artwork from the students as you'll see behind us. And he allows them to sell it here as well, um, which is also great. You can see a TV over here, which he pulls out for various things like that. All right, now that aside, I just wanted to explain the mindset of the owner and what he values in this but let's check out some cool fish tanks let's check out what's in these rescues because it's gonna be cool all right first and foremost one of the largest eels in North America at least in captivity I forget where he said this came from um, I'll edit it in if I can remember or ask him before I leave but he said this guy is 
This is in a 600 gallon tank at the moment. He's nearly six foot. Um, and I mean, just look at his girth. <laughs> look at this guy. There's a few other things like some damsels in here as well. Um, but I just found this crazy impressive eel in here. Something you don't see. He said he's 20 years old. Um, and they wanted to bring him to the aquarium to really have a giant place for him for himself. But the aquarium won't take him locally um, because he's just too old, unfortunately. So starting us off over here in rescue tanks outside of our giant moray eel, we have South American cichlids. Some gorgeous cichlids in a dark water setup. Really nice point for education and understanding just what goes into a system like this, how big these fish actually get. Um, we see down here a big old brashear as well. Uh, these guys are super happy to see me and probably would love if I fed them. I wish I had food for you guys To the right as we come around An African cichlid tank Fully set up nice and large. This is what you want to see and this is what they want to promote to show people as well uh, Gorgeous African cichlids in here almost full-grown These guys gotta love them just a beautiful setup with some live rock in there to bump the alkalinity and pH up as well. Now, maybe not my favorite tank, but my one of my favorites for educational purposes is the goldfish tank. Working at Petco for two years, a lot of people don't realize how big goldfish get or koi get. And it's a nice way of showing people the true size of these guys, the kind of tank they need and what goes into it. Over here we have some more African cichlids of the peacock variant. Oh, these guys are crazy. Another dark water system, nice deep tannins, and some education on it. To your right, what's education without talking about glowfish? I, I mean, I'm, it's not my forte, but it's nice to see and nice to understand. I do like the scaping in here, just not the neonness. Coming back to the front of the store, this 400 gallon system here um, with this giant knife fish, uh, I believe a red devil, I'm not a cichlid guy to be honest, um, a red tail catfish, just again some of these giant rescue fish um, finding a new home in a proper sized tank. And honestly I think they could use a bigger one, but you can only do so much. These guys can't go in the pond with the crazy aggression that they might have. Right at the front of the tank, outside of our pond, we have one of our first saltwater tanks. Um, just some standard clownfish in here, actually a herm of them, which is surprising to see. Some basic coral, your anemones, um, some duncans, uh, a tube anemone, you don't see that every day, and some mushrooms. Another nice talking point by itself, a big flower horn. Good thing to talk about these guys is aggression, maybe where they came from, how they were made. See a man-made fish. Nice aquascaping in here as well. Over here we have Chunk, their monitor at the back in a nice terrarium style setup with various little yellow lab Africans at the bottom to go along with him. I don't know if he would snack those up, um, but I'm sure given the opportunity it would beautiful setup and below it we have all female beardies together I, I did ask <laughs> these guys are all housed together in this really what looks like almost a 200 gallon system to the right of that what's education without talking about cool water laxolotls this beautiful aquascape over here as well with a couple Laxolotls in there, just chilling. Into more of escape setups. Let me mention though, this is all in his cafe. He has a full blown cafe in here that way he can host the parties, host various things. It's all halal um, and just a gorgeous place to sit down, relax, enjoy some halal food and just these beautiful fish and scapes.
Over here we have a high speed rainbow tank, nice big power head at the end here with giant jungle ball coming across, big clown loaches, look at the rainbow fish just the size of these guys, I've honestly not seen rainbow fish that big in a long time. In the front of the store we have this what looks to be a 125 dark water tank with crypts and just a giant school of tiger barbs, oh my gosh. Check them out. You gotta love when these guys follow you around. Let's see if I can get them to follow me on the other side. <laughs> it's just so cool to have something like this. I wish I could just have a tank dedicated to massive schooling fish. Again, coming to our right, some more South American cichlids. A beautiful rockscape in the back. Various yo-yo loaches, dojo loaches clown loaches, rainbow fish, all sorts of things. To the right of that, a huge, I want to say maybe 180 for these long fan Oscars. Let's see if I can get a good video, you guys. There's two of them over here. Just super old guys. Nothing wrong with them, but gorgeous guys and a really nice way to learn and get up close with these fish. To the right of that, the first time I ever saw in a store, Duke the Lungfish. Let's see if Duke will say hey. Looks to be a 90 corner tank with just one single massive lungfish in there. Starting off our row of tanks, we have another saltwater tank with this oh, beautiful old hippo tank, fox face. Very simple setup very easy with some Kessel A360X WEs sponsored by Brightwell have all our Brightwell stuff right here to the left of the tank going on most of these tanks are going to be sponsored um, this I was told is just a new aquascape they haven't decided exactly what they're going to be putting in there another saltwater system beautiful purple tank this is sponsored by Ecotech with some XR30s on there MP 60 or 40 in the back. A nano saltwater system all in one. Single clownfish and some shrimp in the back with just mushrooms and various things. Another absolutely gorgeous aquascape. I love the tree roots just emerging out of the aquascape. I want to do something like that for myself. And then the high substrate into the very narrow substrate various crypts dwarf sagittarium congo tetras angelfish like goes just a beautiful state and this one's sponsored by seacam coming more to the right again we have another saltwater tank now last time i was here this thing was absolutely infested with microalgae or macroalgae he tore out so much. <laughs> um, I mean, when I say full, it was full, probably clogging up the filters full. Um, but this is his macro algae tank, kind of explaining the ecosystem and what algae does and the purpose of algae as well. Now, I forgot to mention this store isn't just invested in fish, it's also invested in some reptiles. Ozzy claims he doesn't know quite a bit about reptiles, he has staff for it, but it's again an educational purpose and a rescue. So I'm going to go through some of these amazing reptiles that he has in the store uh, for educational purposes. So Ozzy rescues, of course, as I talked about, and over here is a custom cage built for, I don't know yet, um, Ozzy and me talked about it, and he really hasn't decided necessarily on it. You really have to look at the laws and legal limits of what they can carry as well. But he wants something that can be educational, that kids can hold, kids can interact with and understand. Below it though, I find interesting, is another koi pond. Look at that giant koi down there. In here we have a beautiful ball python. Just basking up there to the left of that. An iguana. On to more of the reptiles. I'm not gonna act like I'm a reptile guy, but let's just check out some of these habitats. 
down here what looks like an iguana. Hello, dude. And up here, a giant habitat for the snake at the top. Come down, some of these are for sale. Uh, various turtles, some full grown beardies. Honestly, a beautiful setup over here for all of this. I love the scaping over here as well for a terrarium. Now, something you'll probably never see in a store ever in your life is this Burmese python. Look at this beauty. Look at how huge she is. Her name's Buttercup. And then this beautiful setup over here. Continuing on, we have a snake bathing. And below here, a giant monitor. More setups for sale. Well, not the setups, but various different reptiles, whether it's chameleons or snacks. And then we go into some more larger setups. We have Rosie, a red tegu. And then Nile, a monitor. Let's see if we can get Nile a little hidden away. Now, not only do they have one Burmese python, but they have two. Um, this is Vladimir. Vladimir's in the corner, a little dark to see, but let's see if we can get a close-up of Vladimir. She's gigantic. Now, starting on a retail sign, just look at the amount of aquascape availability. So much rock, giant rock, tons of wood. Uh, this would be a scaping dream. I don't have this back home. All your reptile supplies to the left. And then back into your aquatics. Now I love this as well. It's always nice to have a scaping area. This giant nice bed. Looks like a footprint of a 220. It has a scale and below here we have some wood cutouts that are probably sized according to different tanks. Now let's start our fish journey. <laughs> we come into the start of the saltwater section. As we'll see, my favorite little puffer fish. And a shark or two. Now, as told, these are ProClear acrylic tanks, custom made for here. Um, ProClear is actually 15 minutes down the road, which is awesome. Went and talked to the owner for about two hours last week. Great guy. Some of your invert setups. Look at this eel. Holy scallop, that is an enormous flame scallop. Again, these are all custom made setups. 
they focused mostly on just caring for fish because they had a lot of issues with coral and would rather not kill things, which I completely understand. Pearly eye Clarkies. Some more big eels. Again, little buddy. I want one of these so bad. Now we're going down the alley of some of the tanks and the various wood and more scaping, all the plants and nano fish. I call some of this Predator Alley. This is a lot of their larger fish or fish that get larger. I like a beautiful arowana. Or a Fuka puffer. So happy. Another big Oscar, looks like he's recovering from hole in the head. Now something interesting Ozzy told me about these fish setups for sale is the fact that every system is separated. So you can completely quarantine off every system. That's very challenging to do on a large scale, um, especially for keeping parameters right but it really values what he puts into it as in monitoring the health of it. All right guys, so we're back in the lounge area. I've ran around the store and just absolutely remarkable. I've never seen anything like this in an area before to have just beautiful scapes, ponds, setups, all differently purposed with education, first and foremost. And then we also dabble in a little bit of reptiles and the store just has a lot to offer. Equipment, setups, you name it, it's here. If you're in the Jacksonville area, come by, check it out, just look at this remarkable place because you're not going to find something like this anywhere else. Well, I really appreciate it, guys. Leave a like below if you like this. I'm going to try to do more of it when I visit more cities. And give me a subscribe. Appreciate it. Bye.